friends and family members of uh, the late actor Menzi Ngubane have gathered at the Assemblies of God Church uh, in Santon to celebrate the life of the veteran uh, actor, an icon in his own right, who has graced our screen uh, for years, um, you know, different generations, uh, knowing him for different characters that he has portrayed on our TV screens. I know some may have known him from uh, Ubambo um, others may know him from Kazlami. I personally knew him or was quite familiar with him on generations, younger generations knowing him on Ispire, which was one of his uh, last characters portrayed uh, as Judas Nguenya. But I do have uh, the family members here who will be speaking to us about uh, the man that they knew outside of the TV screens, which uh, we only knew him from, and that is uh, Figelepi Masugu, who is the sister to the late Menzi Ngubane. Uh, thank you so much for talking to us. Um, like I've just mentioned now, we only know uh, Menzi Ngubane from our screens. We know him probably as the villain who sing his Kati on uh, Isbaya, for instance, as Judas Nguenya, uh, knowing him, our generations, uh, for some. But who was he as the family man, as your brother? He was very tough on screen, but very soft as a family man. He was a very kind, loving man. He loves family so much. He's always there to support Umdeni. Umdeni means Buhamba Pambi. He would stop anything just to be at all the family gatherings. That's why as the Ngobane family we say we have lost a pillar, a supporter. Can you speak to us, um, you know, about the days leading up to, you know, his death last week, Saturday? We know he has struggled uh, for a while with uh, the kidney uh, illness that he was facing, but what was that like for you as the family, having to go through him and be his strength during this time and his final days? Uh, can I pass that to my brother, Okonu Gubani? Well, uh, during those uh, last days, um, my brother was uh, going through some rough time, uh, but we have always believed that uh, the Lord, uh, the Creator, um, was going to help him to heal. Um, but um, I do not want to, I think you spoke about um, the, the illnesses and, and, and what what. I am not a doctor, I am not a medical doctor, I am not in a position to actually say what was the cause. But uh, we are so saddened by his departure because we were hoping that he was going to recover uh, in the illnesses that he was facing. He was a fighter, I can tell you that he was fighting uh, throughout, throughout um, in, in everything like my sister has said. So, but I am not a medical doctor, but all I can say to you is that he was fighting and he did pull a very, very good fight uh, into whatever that he was facing and um, then unfortunately uh, God decided uh, to call him to rest. And then just days after we've seen now reports of the passing of um, your father, um, you know, just going through the loss of your brother and now uh, hearing of uh, Menzi Gubani's father passing away, what was that like for you as a family? It was so traumatic, but I think Obama couldn't take the sudden departure of his son. That's what hit my father most. Just very briefly, um, how will you remember him? You know, personally, I don't know if you want to tell us about a uh, one vivid memory you have of him that you will never forget, or how you wish to remember him, or how you wish for the rest of the country uh, to remember this iconic uh, actor that graced our screens for all these years. He was a very fun, loving person. Umiz would just call us on Friday afternoon while we still at work. At ye in Pagishile ni nang bukei moto si aham. We wouldn't even know which was happy, but who's a buka somewhere. Road trips he loved very much. So that's what we're going to remember about him. He wanted everybody to be happy all the time. Ube no tando. In a sea here, in a sea here, I can tell you that whenever you fall, I can tell you that you can see your tropana, you can see your tropana, but more than anything, you can see your tropana, 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 because I can see your tropana every time I was at the end of the day, we will laugh, we will crack up my jokes, 
and sihege kubinji ya noma ngabu na hii pinking watu musu kutangane na hii uyazu kuzokalu sihege ata hii wakit kofi eluzo zindu that was the kind of a person that he was and then and sorry one other thing that you will remember mostly about you means unga logo tu tintu mdenu waki wa tintu mdenu waki noma ngabu ya kichanda kanshali kusuli nyatele msili ya ngunzo mbani kuzo konda na nawe ngo Alright. Um, I don't know if you have uh, this information as yet. Just uh, to wrap this up, uh, a, a funeral arrangements. Um, do you know as to when exactly that will be taking place? It will be on Saturday, the 20th. Yes. At Ladysmith uh, Indoor Sports Centre. Then we will have a, a short uh, service at the Indoor Sports, Sports Centre. Then from there we'll move to home where there will be a ceremony as well. From there, both Obama and Omid will be taken to the local cemetery. All right, thank you very much. Also, yeah, I think I think it's important that we also um, the, the mention that uh, we the, the support that we got from Isaid Gangoska's work, the family, yes, yes. who they've been very supportive. Yes, uh, yes. Never the uh, in terms of difficulties. Uh, yeah, yeah. until the last moment so go ma ku loko and the spirit of kungula muphamandla ke sikhatha afike ne naso akwazi ukuthi ahile and the yeah and the support of men's mother in law umama ka nkosikazi wakhe umama ka sikelwa has been there throughout supporting her daughter and her son in law Thank you very much. Those are the siblings uh, to Men's in Gubane speaking to us about uh, their last memories with their brother as well as uh, quite sadly the tragic passing uh, of his father just days after uh, Men's in Gubane died last week, uh, Saturday. We're hearing that he will be laid to rest uh, in Ladysmith where he hails from in KZN uh, on the 20th of March alongside uh, his father. Uh, but that is it from here in Santon. Back to you in studio. Access to adequate